Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to start something new. We're going to do a cartridge fireside. And we're going to start out with, of course, the 30-06 Springfield. So in this Nosler reloading manual, so in this manual, there are little snippets of articles uh, from gun writers. Uh, basically, they're campsite stories about the cartridges. I thought you guys might enjoy this. So let's go ahead and read about the 30-06. In basic training during the Korean War, I quickly learned the shortcomings of Army instructors when one said the recoil of the M1 Garand rifle was, quote, similar to the 30-06. When a draftee pointed out the M1 is a 30-06, the instructor said, I don't know nothing about civilian calibers. Fortunately for America's survival, both our troops and the 06 were more capable. And on the range, we learned why this was one of the top military cartridges and still one of the best sporting calibers of all time. In September 1952, while on leave before shipping to Japan, I bought a Remington Model 721 30-06. Two black-tailed deer with two shots marked the beginning of a long and close relationship. I'm a user rather than equipment collector, so most of my hunting for 37 years has been with the same rifle. I began with factory ammo, then reloaded for great accuracy and versatility. The wide variety of available bullets makes the 30-06 an all-around rifle. I eventually settled on a few loads to handle most situations. A maximum load with a 200 grain nozzle partition for in-chamber carrying in grizzly country. 180 grain nozzler partition for elk and moose, the 165 grain nozzler partitions for mid-sized big game, and the 150 grain nozzler solid base or ballistic tip for deer-sized and smaller game. In the mid-1970s, my rifle became a good long-range rock chuck and coyote gun with Remington introduced their accelerator with a 55 grain bullet at over 4,000 feet per second. However, I began doing less hand loading when Federal introduced their premium 30 out 6 cartridge using 180 grain nozzler partitions. I tried some, found they were excellent, so now use them extensively, even on game as small as deer. I failed the 30 out 6 using quality hand loaded or commercial cartridges is entirely adequate for all North American big game, except the big bears. My old OT6 has served me very well for decades on critters from mice to moose. This little snippet was written by Ed Park, and uh, he was with Oregon Field, editor of Outdoor Life.